I sang the song Never Enough on The Greatest Showman. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Welcome. What's your name? My name's Lauren. And where are you from? From Brooklyn, New York. Is that right? Yes. So why Britain's Got Talent? Most of my favorite singers are from the UK, so I thought I'd come pay a visit to you guys. Okay, so Lauren, tell me a bit about you. Uh, I think some of you guys have actually heard my voice, but you don't know my face. Um, I sang the song Never Enough on The Greatest Showman. No. Oh my God! Oh my God! Blew their minds! Oh my God! So I was hired to do the reference vocals for the actresses so they could learn the songs. And so they had me come in and sing Never Enough. And it really was Rebecca Ferguson who plays Jenny Lind who said, I think that Lauren should sing the song and I'll lip sync. So you sang one of the biggest songs of all time. You've now revealed it wasn't the actress who sang the song in the movie. It was you singing that song. So why didn't you get that big deal after the song. I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes, but I feel kind of like the song was meant for me and I'm, I'm kind of ready to put a face to the song. So, I'm here to do that. Good luck. I'm trying to hold my breath let it stay this way Can't let this moment end You set off a dream in me Getting louder now Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand Will you share this? with me Cause darling without you All the shine of a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky will never be
good. I can't believe I've had this incredible opportunity to give you your moment to shine, because this is it. We were just in palm of your hand from like the first note. I can't think there's been many experiences on the show where we've ever yeah. had that feeling. It was otherworldly. Seeing somebody else sing that song in that movie and not have the recognition of doing one of the most incredible vocals ever. And now, for you to kind of reveal yourself to the world, it was actually one of the most incredible audition moments I've ever experienced. I'm speechless. Thank you. Timing in life is everything, and maybe this is your moment now. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Keiichi Iwasaki. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Oh, I love Japan. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Watashi wa Alicia did. Oh, yes, exactly. Yes. Oh, this <laughs> That's all I know. Um, <laughs> How old are no, you? Yeah, I'm 49 years old. And what you're doing for us today, is that your day job? No, it's uh, my bicycle and... Uh... <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry, uh, pardon, pardon. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, so uh, excuse no me. No worries, my darling. Uh, so why Britain's got talent? It's because a big stage, the biggest state in the world, then it's like a one of my dream to come here. Oh, fantastic. Yes, it's amazing. Whenever you're ready. Yes. Go for it. OK, now I start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I love him. Simon, do you know this one? Chopstick. Yes, chopstick. One, two, three, go from uh, Sorry, one more time. <laughs> go from uh, Sorry, uh, just uh, this. What did you uh, just do? It's not magic, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, no, then maybe ask the Deccan the aunt. Deccan Yes! Deccan aunt! Deccan aunt! Deccan aunt! That's got a ring it's to it. it. Yeah, it's, it's it. Add and Jack. Add and Jack it is. Yeah, Add and Jack. Yeah, that's right. Please check this card. It's normal. 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 And please shuffle it. Of course. Yes. Very well. Jack shuffle the deck. Deck shuffled. Yes. By Deckerman. Yes. Please take one card as you like. Me? Me? Yeah. No. 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 Add and Jack. Next to that. Still me. No. Add and Jack. Okay. Please show everybody. I I don't see it. I don't want to see it. Okay. Please show the whole. No. 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 The what? No. I'm doing this bit. Okay, may I put it here and uh, I just scroll. Now I show the Japanese way to suffering. Okay, water, 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 water. <laughs> yeah. uh, here, your card is water. There. Uh, between this uh, or this? No, that's not. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that this one? No. Yeah. This. No, no, what? Uh, uh, just uh, here. Is your card? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Japan was creating wizards. What's going on over here? 20 pounds. And uh, do you want it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I put here 20 pounds. Hup. 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 It's like I'm going to look at any of your dispatches. Hup. Hup. Now, hup. What? Excuse me, energy finish, but no problem. <laughs> Genki dama! Here! <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, do you come over here? I come over here. <laughs> Arigato, please check this is what? What is this? It's a ring. It's a ring, yes. <laughs> Give me a finger like this. I put the ring here, okay. Just hold on, don't move, because it's a very difficult magic. This ring, your finger had one, two, three. Also, pass 
thing. Whoa! I said, wait, wait, hold, hop, what? The funniest person we've seen and the most magical person we've seen yeah. all combined in one and I love you. People are gonna like you so much. Thank you so My much. son yeah. is gonna love you. I mean love you. <laughs> you are one of the best we've seen so far. I'm gonna kick this off with a yes. Yes, thank you so much. It's a yes from me. Yeah. It's a yes from me. Oh, no, 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 no. Like a dream, he said, thank you so much. I, I can't explain that in my emotion. I never expected that like, Gordon Brothers. It's too much, thank you so much. Come on, come on. Yes! Yeah! Yes! You did it, you did it, you did it, you did it, you did it. You, did it. you, did it. you, did it. you were brilliant. That's brilliant. I love him so much. I know, it's like a dream. <laughs> This in like a YouTube, some people got Gordon yeah. Blaze. Like, yeah. oh, and now it's you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. My name's Axel Blake and I'm from West London. So Axel, what made you sign up for BGT this year? Well, I've got a 12-year-old son, he's in the audience. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted him to believe in yourself, you know? Put your mind to it and you can make it happen. And do you have a day job? Uh, yes, I do um, property maintenance. If you need a kitchen done, Simon, let me know. Let me... I do, actually, Axel. Give me a call. I will. Good. I want a good rate. <laughs> no, no, no. Come. We're friends now. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Press that and we're cool, yeah? <laughs> I'm really curious with you, because you've got, you got your day job, this obviously is what you want to do. Has there ever been a moment where you've almost lost your confidence and thought, I'm not going to do this? 100%, 100% there's been that time. But when you have family that's looking at you and inspired by you, that's what keeps you going. Yeah. So my son and my daughter, that's, what, that's the reason. That's the reason. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. Go for it. I was going to drive here today. I realised I don't have a licence, so... Don't worry, I drove anyways, I drove anyways. <laughs> I took the tube, I took the tube. I've got a love-hate relationship with the tube, you know? I love when it's empty, I hate when it's packed. Can't stand it. Fight people off for the armrest, you ever done that? You think, no you don't. This old lady's strong, oh my. <laughs> have it, have it, Margaret, have it. Just have it. Have it. Have it. <laughs> some people do their makeup on the tube as well. Make some noise if you've ever done your makeup on the tube. <laughs> Legend. A couple weeks ago, I saw a woman, she was doing her whole makeup. A few stops later, she was a whole new person. <laughs> I was so impressed, I started clapping. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you know. She looked down on me like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ugh, uh. I thought, uh, you may be a nine out of 10 now, but you was a minus two at King's Cross life, yeah. <laughs> Boom, yeah. <laughs> I walked off the train like this, in style, yeah. But on a brighter note, just recently my fiance gave birth to a little baby girl. <laughs> don't clap, Simon, don't clap. I didn't say the baby's mine, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, she's mine. <laughs> Pandemic baby as well, you know? Aww. Yeah, so we went to give her a fitting name. So we named her Pfizer, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I call her Faisha, yeah. <laughs> Faisha. Oh, he's very good.
<laughs> Technology is moving at such a crazy speed, evolving crazy. You got the metaverse, you know, you got cryptocurrency. I still get excited about my contactless card when I use it. <laughs> I do, when I use it, beep. <laughs> I love the noise. I've got a jacket with a pocket on his arm. Sometimes I'll leave my card in the arm and I'll pay with my arm. <laughs> just to confuse the cashier. That'll be 19 pounds 13. Boop. <laughs> Next week I'm going back, I'm gonna leave my card in my back pocket. I'll be 22 pounds 60. Boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I walk off in style. Who's <laughs> in a happy relationship makes some noise? <laughs> yeah, me and my fiance have been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I didn't know when you were coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> yes, you do. What I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back at a decent time. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face, get out of my face. I say, all right, I'll get out of your face, but how do I do it? In style. Hey. In style. My name's Axel Blake, thank you. A comedy superstar is born tonight on that show. Super, super, super confident. The first person, honestly, who's ever made a joke about COVID and was funny. <laughs> I, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, you know, after what everybody's gone through over the last couple of years, boy, A, we needed this show back on air. We needed acts like you. There's one thing I have to tell you, though. I kind of like a granite top. I like a waste disposal unit. I want 25% off and you get this. Too bad, thank you. What are your names? Um, so I go by the name of Flint. Flint, yeah. My name's Taylor. Where and you together you are. Oh, Flint and Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you, boys? I'm 22. I'm 17. Oh, you babies! <laughs> and where are you from? So I'm from Creighton. <laughs> Come on. And I'm from Birmingham. Nice. <laughs> so how did you guys meet? So um, we met through the first lockdown um, via Instagram. We were doing like Instagram lives. Okay. Today was the first day we met. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh my! <laughs> Did you write the song? Yeah, I wrote the lyrics myself. Yeah. It's called Change. Yeah, the song's about basically inspiring my younger brothers. I want them to like not follow the same footsteps I used to follow. I want them to be better than me. Oh, that's nice. Well, this is your moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Been 
blessed with this gift and I'ma use it and I thank the Lord because my life really changed so I pour my heart and my soul into music listen to the words I hope you can relate From a kid I was an antics, I never gripped a weapon Stealing from these shops, I was always in detention Didn't know what I was thinking, faced a few suspensions They tried to tell my parents, I'm a kid that's got aggression I was following the crowd, I thought that I could fit in I thought they had my back but the situations were different But still I start to follow the one and be seen as weak So anything that they do, I front line so you can see And I was dumb, stupid, know that I was crazy following the crowd because I wanted them to rate me after school doing things that some would call shady I was deep involved, nobody came to save me I had to change my ways because I made my parents cry something changed up in my mind because there were times I could have died fake this, fake that, I was living life in lies parents gave me everything, young me never realised I really had to change to try and be the best for my bros telling them don't make the same mistakes I did on the road always choose the right path, never lie, forget about the code if you go left you go regret this, when you're getting old I know that I ain't perfect we'll talk I made mistakes change is just a process I'm doing what it takes gonna make my family proud and put a smile up on their face you knew me in the days you would have seen the drastic change but it's a struggle I can't lie I've been through the pain and been through some dark times I put my pen to my pad and then I write rhymes If you didn't know, I can tell you that it's my time I'll shine, pen to my pad and every day I keep on writing Born to be a star so every day I keep on shining My work is paying off, I'm never stopping grinding I'll see you at the top and we know that it's all in time And being blessed with this gift and I'ma use it And I thank the Lord because my life really changed So I pour my heart and my soul into music Listen to the words that I hope you can relate Phenomenal on that piano. I mean, amazing. And there'll be a lot of people watching this who will, will, will relate to that and they'll take a very positive message away from it, which I think is fantastic. And they're both of you together. Well, it was real. That's what was great. Yeah, about it was real. Yeah. It was real. And I love that. Genuinely, it's everything we look for. I mean, nothing makes me more happy than seeing mus young musicians. You had something to say, Flint. We've had no one on the show like you before, which is brilliant. And they say in life, save the best till last. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh. She's so happy to see Simon. Oh, oh look at her. She loves it. Tell us the name of your group. We are Boys Who Inform. Boys Who Inform is a group with people with disabilities, and we are here to show you what we can do. Okay, we're all really excited to see what you guys are going to do. So, the stage is yours, Born to Perform. Thank you. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm shaking.
Rangers Giants. Oh, Your passion is just pouring out. It's just wonderful to see. You did a fantastic job, each and every one of you. Bravo. Thank you. Yes, girl. Show them. I did not stop smiling for the whole of that performance. You were amazing. Uh, I didn't like it. I loved it. <laughs> I love the fact that you were having such a great time. It was actually one of my favourite auditions, I'm going to be honest with you. Thank you. I absolutely loved it, guys. In fact, I loved it so much that I'm going to do it! Hi Simon, How are you? Um, you are my family's favourite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favourite and why? Oh, well, to be fair, they are more intelligent. In America. Who? In America. In America, right? yeah. No, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are... don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's sick as pig shit. <laughs> no. now, he, now he can't be sacked. He'll just say anything he wants. He's like, See, so I said he'll be out of control now. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> what is the best thing about being Simon Cowell? Oh, 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 the best thing about being you. Well, as Cat, right? Is yeah, hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. I kind of thought, <laughs> hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and that's... you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. <laughs> so that is the answer to the question. And, uh, yeah, that's probably there the best go. part. Yeah, and lots of other things, but I'll keep to that for the moment. The money helps. What What's the one thing that you'll miss about each of the judges? Uh, Amanda, I'm going to miss her, her wit, her enthusiasm, her commitment to the show. Uh, Alicia is hysterical and so much fun to work with. And David... Anything at all? <laughs> wow, David! Not not a thing. It's just maybe maybe it's maybe it's. He's terrible. lying. He loves me really. <laughs> oh! Do you, Do you love, love me? Come on! Yeah. You love me, don't you? Do you love me? Do you love me? You do. No, I don't. See, who else could get away with that? No. One. What are the three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks, humility, generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Um, great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys. I like girls. I like animals. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Let's, let's replay that clip again. <laughs> we 
have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls. I like guys. Thank you. You finally said it. And you like animals as well. We're not going there. David. He <laughs> does. <laughs> Simon Cowell for a day, what would you do? Don't answer. Don't that. answer that because she's, she's there. <laughs> be Simon for the day. Yeah, if I could careful. be Simon for the day. Yeah, if you could be Simon do? for a day, what would you do? I would make love to me. <laughs> I know you closed your eyes there, Simon. Was that just the image going through your head, or...? Uh, do you know what? His sense of smuttiness gets worse <laughs> on a nightly basis. So, David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far. But don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's, that's a great well, question. That's a question What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, didn't he? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah, it is, it is magic. He, it is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time you <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. Do you that's, get, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> What's the nicest thing you have ever seen Simon do? Oh. They're all coming out tonight. Oh <laughs> my god, I've got some bad thoughts there. Uh, <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what he is? And it's, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Woo! Can we have an hour for that? Come on. Nice job. But for some reason, and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> you know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. I just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> what, what, would you feel more comfortable if he gave you a hug? Yeah. Come Please, give me a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come on. Come on. Hug it out. Come, come on. give me a hug. Hug it out. That's no, no, it. Come on, give me a hug. Come, come on. on. No, no, I didn't say sit down. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. That's it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, that's it. What a beautiful picture. That's it.